Hi, I'm Liam, a product marketer at Vercata. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up users and groups, and we will also cover site-level permissions. Permissions can be set up on a per-user basis or at the group level. You'll want to group users with similar permissions so you do not have to provision access for each user. To create a group, I'm going to select all products at the top of the left-hand navigation bar and then choose admin. Under admin, I will select groups. I'll create a group by selecting create group and I'm going to name this group DevOps. Next, I will add a few users to the group. Toggling over to site roles, I can assign roles to the users in the DevOps group. By default, users will be provisioned with no access. This means they will not be able to see cameras within the organization. As a quick side note, permissions set here will also adjust permissions for all other product lines. For example, site admins are granted explicit alarms user permissions. All other levels will require explicit alarms user permissions to be granted. As you can see here, when I set my permissions to site admin, I am explicitly granted alarms user permissions, and every subsite under the Vercata HQ site has inherited the permissions set at the main site. To delete a user from a group, I can go to the group and select the delete X icon that populates on the right. Next, let's talk about how permissions work within command. I'll click on a user from my group. Focusing on the top left-hand side of the page, I can take action to control the login on a specific user, such as resetting their password, resetting their two-factor authentication, or forcing the logout of the user across their devices. I can also grant any user organization admin privileges because I am also an organization admin myself. An organization admin is a super user. They have full access and privileges within command. I also have the ability to view an audit log of all actions the user has taken in command, as well as their access history. Next, there is also an access control role, which can also be configured on this screen. The access admin permission level allows users to manage doors, access levels, as well as access users and groups. The access manager permission level allows users to view live and historical access control events. And lastly, Access member permissions allow access to physical doors with no configuration and no administrative rights within command. Below access control permissions, you can also generate an alarm console key code used to arm and disarm your alarms. And at the bottom of this, there's another place where you can assign or delete the user from specific groups. To the right of these fields, we can see the individual site roles. This is where permissions are set on a per-user basis for cameras, alarms, and access control. Site admin permissions allow a user to add cameras, view live and historical footage, create archive clips, share camera live feeds, and adjust camera settings. Site admins can edit site permissions for users as well. Site viewer permissions allow users to view live cameras, historical footage, and create archives. Live viewer permissions allow a user to view live camera feeds only. And as the name suggests, no access will not permit the user to view any cameras in a given site. Navigating back to org settings, I can click into users and add new users. All that is required to add someone new to your organization is their first name, last name, and email. From here, you can also assign the new user to groups to get them up and running. Lastly, by clicking back to org settings and scrolling down to roles and permissions customization, as an org admin, I have the ability to granularly manage archiving and link sharing permissions for site admins and site viewers in my organization. This feature is useful for limiting or extending the permission of members in an organization. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on user and group permissions. For more information, please visit our public-facing knowledge base at help.vercata.com.